No matter how terrible a situation is, no matter how bad it is, there's still gonna be a rose that grows from that concrete. Every person on this planet is capable of changing the world by changing themselves. I was built for this. I was not going to let myself fail, right? And I had that mentality. And I understand that now that I grew from that concrete, I'm starting to plant my seeds and there's more roses growing. We're planting seeds in places that people are like, man, it'll never grow here, right? And we're like, no, it can't. You know, because there's a lot of people out there that have the heart, that have the talent, that have the ability. They just have to see that someone else can do it. At the end of the day, man, you really gotta want it. You gotta really want it. Like, man, you don't see the work that goes behind this. People don't see all that it takes to even get to that point, and that's the problem. And so they think it's supposed to be this, this overnight thing. Goes, oh, I started an LLC, give me money. You know, I think one of the things that um, that's important for all of us is just the, the work ethic. You know, to be able to put in, like you do, the incredible hours as an entrepreneur, as a visionary, to do what it ever takes. Because I don't believe that there's a necessarily a magic pill, but I think there's a process and doing the, doing the work is very important. You know, I don't want people to believe that there's a silver bullet and all of a sudden you have a great memory or you have this great success or great relationship or health and people always ask, what's the one thing I can do? And I always tell people that you have to do, you have to do most of it, right? I mean, be smart about it, but you have to put in the work because, uh, you know, a lot of times people see on social media, they see all of uh, the success, but what they don't see is, is the hustle, mm. right? As, as Gary Vee talks about, and the, uh, I think what you, as they say, what you practice in private, they say you're rewarded for in public, right. but you have, to, you have to do the work. I feel like a lot of people expend unnecessary amounts of energy trying to hold up this image of their ideal self to the world and then they have this image of, that they fear so it's going to be revealed to somebody else and, and the truth is people can, we're faster and we're smarter than we think and not just to be able to rote memorize things but be able to really solve significant challenges and maybe that these challenges that we're going through are the lessons that we need to, to learn the most. Forget the things you can't control. Look for the moments you can control. Lose the times you can't control. Use the times you can control. This is your journey. This is your destiny. And either you wander aimlessly or you grab the wheel and take control of the ship. Either you head in the direction you want to go or you go in no direction at all. Most people allow life to happen to them. Their time runs like a sand sign. Life is happening to them. It isn't happening for them. Make life work for you. Make your time work for you. Do not allow your time to empty each day without achieving anything. Go into the world today and spend your time wisely. Make small wins every day that will lead you down the path to success. Motivation gets you started, but habit will keep you going. Motivation is great. It is like a coffee in the morning. It gets the engine going and gets you moving, but it is a habit that will develop your success. You have the potential today to be special. Every second that passes now is the opportunity to succeed. Succeed into something worthy, something with the power to change, to adapt. Adapt into the person you've always wanted to be. You have this opportunity today to be something with purpose, something with potential, something that has the power to improve, to really make it past your fears. So what I believe is all you are is this moment right now. Everything that you perceive about yourself from your past, it doesn't exist right now. You're just sitting here, right? So if you take a deep breath, you might have these little images of what your past story is, like things that happened to you, things that you feel reactions to, whatever. But if I actually realize that everything that I think I am from past accomplishments or future accomplishments or that I, I have as goals or whatever are not me, that I'm just this space that those ideas show up in, then often they might leave, right? 
let's say you have a thought, no one likes me because no one liked me at that one thing in the past. Okay, who's saying that? It's just a thought, it's not you, it's a thought that comes from evidence of one thing in the past, but that doesn't mean that's you, right? Whenever you let go of something scary, you're only scared because your mind can measure what you will lose, but it can't see what you'll gain. So if you're sad because you're going through a breakup, you're focused on the loss of one person versus the gain of 7.5 billion people. So your mind just remembers one person, but it can't see what's on the other side of it. And that's no different to me than getting on an elevator. When you get on an elevator, it's a dark, closed room. Just like when you meditate sometimes, your visions of what you were disappear and you feel darkness. But that doesn't mean because these doors are closed that there isn't a whole new world on the other side about to open up. So when you feel lost, you're really in a problem of you're just addicted to seeing the old story. And we move as if we have forever and it's crazy. And so we get very spoiled by the relationships and the friendships that we're in and we don't just appreciate them in the moment. So we create these expectations and in that expectation, you better be like you were before and you can't be you. I have an expectation we're here forever. You can't like someone else. You can't feel anything else. You need to be mine. And we have these ex you know, expectations and we forget to live and we forget to enjoy that we get this moment. Most people think the things that are temporary are the permanent things, right? The temporary passing, I'm going through a breakup. You don't understand that in a month you're gonna be okay. You think, when you're in a low, when you're feeling bad, you think that thing you're feeling is how you're gonna feel forever, which is what makes it feel worse. You know what I mean? When you're in a low, you're like, this is my life now. This is it. Or when you're in a high, you also get extra high because you think, this is my life now. I've fallen in love with this person. So we're together forever and I'm always going to feel like this. They're the one. Then a month later, you're like, is this my life forever? And, you're, and, then, and then it goes back and forth and you don't get that all of your emotions are temporary. They're passing things. But there is this thing in this moment right now that I feel is permanent. This thing that you can feel, just this silence, this space. I've had so many things that have shown up and left that I once thought were my reality that it feels like parts of me continue to die and I allow them to die. Right? So most of our pain comes from believing, I believe, that we should keep holding on to these things that are really heavy in our lives. Even in physical examples, like just there's a lot of us that have an attic full of things, right? A lot of those things are things that your past thinks you should have, but they're not necessarily what your heart would want right now, right? Like this is something I inherited or I should keep this and one day show my kids. We live in a world where we don't say what we're thinking. We say what we think people want to hear. Now, if you wait, all that's going to happen is you get older. Because time is always going to pass and you're always going to move away. You're going to wait for something to happen. It's going to set you behind on the time you do have. You're going to wind up at the back of the race and you're going to wind up in last place. And that's not where you want to be. That's not even where you need to be. You need to be standing side by side with your future self. You need to be sleeping at night knowing that you tried your best and waking up every morning with a desire to adapt, with a desire to change. Stand out today. Be different. Become something different. Stop lying to yourself and stand up and become something with worth, something with more than you've ever been. Your goals, your goals that you set for yourself, that's your power. Your ambition is your power. Having time is so powerful. You are powerful. Set out what you believe in. Lay out the power you have. Actually, lay out the power that you have always had. Use this, become this, and have this. Your power can take you, put you on your path to your success, to the place where you succeed, where you can become more than just ordinary. So see what you've learned, how much you've gained, See how far you've moved forward and use this. Use this to take every single second for granted. This is what's gonna make your future and this is what gives you the power to have success. You have this power to become something better. Better 
than ordinary. Your progress never stops because the show always will go on with or without you. Life still continues. The world spins and time still passes. This is your opportunity. 